First, we'll cut a piece of quarter inch plywood to the desired height and width. For this procedure, we'll use a T-square and a circular saw. We'll then take our material to the back of the bus where we can hold it against the back wall. I'm going to use the back of the bus so that I just have somewhere easy to hold it up to. And I'm going to use my eye and make it parallel with the window. The back window and then holding it nice and tight. I'm really just going to eyeball that curve and just follow it. It's not going to be right, but we'll get close. Back in the shop, we'll again use the T-square and a steady hand to sweeten up that line. Then, using our jigsaw, we'll make our initial cut. Back on the bus, we'll position our template in its actual final location. Then, using a scribe, I'll scribe against the ceiling. carefully. Okay, I'm going to show you the difference between a scribe and a compass. Ow, that's sharp. This is a compass. This, one-handed, sorry, is a scribe. The difference this is flat on one side, whereas this isn't. If you want to hold something flat against the ceiling, guess what you're going to need? Something with a flat side. So this side right here with the point is what's going to write on the ceiling, and then your pencil goes in this other side. So that's the actual tool you'll need, and it's actually called, believe it or not, a scribe. So back in the shop again, we'll use the jigsaw and cut the line we just scribed. We also need to make the small notch to go in the electrical chase. Then it's time to test fit that scribe. So here you'll notice that I'm lining it up with the rib on the ceiling and then again with the back window making sure that I'm parallel with each. Once I'm satisfied with its positioning, I then should be close enough to only use my pencil to scribe against the ceiling. Here you can see that we have just a little bit of material to remove in order to refine that line. And for this operation I'm using a small belt sander. Then it's back to the bus to check our fit and make sure we're happy with the final cut. Voila! Good and tight. So once you finally have your template, you can then transfer it to the actual piece that goes there.